Then we hit enter, it updates immediately. All right, so let's add the functionality for us to be able to move our tasks between different lists. Move to next, which will belong to our model. All right, so here let's do function M model. We'll go ahead and just do something called move to next. And this will return a t dot message. So this is a t dot command just based on that signature. So we'll go ahead and use selected item is equal to m dot lists and it would be whichever one is our focused uh, dot selected item and then we'll go ahead and make selected selected task because we have to convert it basically um, we'll do selected item dot wrap it as a task and do m dot lists uh, selected task selected task dot status dot remove item so we'll basically remove it from the current list add it to the next one in the, the next list and then return something m dot focus dot index because this remove item remove item basically requires the index of what we are going to remove so we'll just get the index of the item from the list. Select the task.next. So basically we move it to the next one. And then we'll go ahead and do m.lists and get the selected selected task.status.insert item. Because this basically what this next is going to do is it will like increment the um, selected task dot status field. So we'll go ahead and do that insert item and then it will be at the end of the list. So we got to get the length of the list dot lists uh, selected task dot status. So whichever the current ta or the task is that we want to insert it in or sorry, the list that we want to insert it dot status dot items. So we got to get the length of the items and it's going to be minus one. And then we are also going to do a list item. Which item are we adding? We're going to do selected, selected task. It's the whole thing. Oh, I think I need you here. There we go. Uh, and then this is undefined, so we have to add that functionality still. So let's go to our tasks, task struct. Let's go ahead and add a function for task that's called next that returns nothing and just modifies the task directly so what we'll do is basically if the status it's like the same functionality that we already implemented for which one was focused for the models and we'll basically do if status is equal to done and we'll go ahead and change status is equal to to do and otherwise we're gonna make that t dot status T dot status t dot status there we go and then otherwise we will increment t dot status and then we'll do the same thing for previous as well so we can move it backwards do that or do we want to i think for now we'll just move it one way one direction is fine because it wraps around anyway so you can just just keep moving that uh okay and then we'll return return nil We'll see. We'll see if we want to change this later, but I think we'll just leave it as return nil because that way we can use it as a command that we pass down. All right. So then let's add a case here where we actually call that. So let's do enter. Make enter the uh, the one here. What we want to do is we'll return m and the m dot move to next. Go ahead and run it. Then when we hit enter, it updates immediately the list that we're seeing. 
So if I hit that again, it'll like bring it back to this original list. So we can move a bunch of things around, move everything out of our to do in progress done. And of course, because we're using mock data, it's actually just going to reset the list when we run it again. But of course, you can choose to like persist that data and use a proper database and pull from that and all of that good stuff. But this is more so of just like a basic little template that you can use for whatever you want. Add more functionality to it. Let's add the functionality to be able to add a new task to our list of things to do. It will add to our current focused list. So to be able to add a new item, I think the best course of action here is that we're basically going to have an input